Hey guys, welcome back to Equilibrium Clash of Clans. Today we're going to be taking a look at a few attacks which won three stars in our past few wars. Now we've been losing a lot recently, as you'll see in a moment in our war log. Okay, so seven out of ten wars we have lost. We're not doing so good recently. Um, a couple of the wars, you know, we only lost by a few stars, but like this war here was a two star difference, this war here, four stars, two stars, five stars. So we're getting pretty close, but we're just not cleaning up enough of the lower bases. Anyway, the focus is going to be on the good attacks, so let's take a look at this map. There was one good attack by our cashew farmer against a Town Hall 8 base, and in this attack he takes out an air defense pretty quickly. So let's take a look at that. Now, as you all know, dragons, uh, the, the only thing that really stops dragons is air defenses or expos pointed up. And Town Hall 8s don't have expos, which means if you take out even one of their air defenses, then you have a very, very easy time getting the other two. So here he sends in a few hogs, he puts down a heal spell, and not only do those hogs take out the air defense, but they also take out a couple of these other defenses. So two cannons, an air defense, and two Teslas, looks like. Yep, they both go down. And these hogs go off to attack this wizard tower and then get taken out. Okay, now he's going to deal with the opponent dragon, the opposing dragon, with a few air bombs right there. And it looks like he's going to attack from the right side. Yep. So he took out one air defense. He's going to take that out right there. And now he's going to come in from this side and probably take out that air defense. Yep, there you go. So, you know, these dragons are just... He placed them down very well. It wasn't like he was just throwing them all over the place. There was a purpose to why he put them here, why he put them here, and the hogs that he sent in for the dock. So that's it. He takes out the air defenses quickly, and once those are gone, cleanup is very easy. So with this attack, he didn't take any archers or minions or wizards to take out the clan castle units or stray buildings. He just went pure dragon. So your main attack force will be stronger, but if you lose a lot of your dragons while attacking the main part of the base, you might run out of time going from corner to corner to take care of these little builder huts. So that's a trade-off you have to take. But yeah, it was a really well executed attack. And next we're going to go looking at a guy named... Upin on their team. Alright, so Jason attacked this guy. Uh, I think he also used dragons. Now, of course, these guys are going down a few ranks. I think they're going down. I'm not sure about uh, Snow, but Jason, I think, went down like 10 ranks. In this attack, he's going to be taking out all of the stray buildings, placing down archers here and there. And, of course, before the attack, he checked all these towers and made sure that these buildings were actually free for the picking. He made sure that they were all out of range. And he's taking a lot of time doing this. But because of that, all these dragons are going to go straight to the core. Okay, there's one rage spell hitting pretty much every single dragon. And because these air defenses are so close, I'm going to take everything out now. This right here is a little bit sad. Three dragons running off to the side just to take out one uh, one army camp. But there was a tower there, so I don't know. Maybe there's a better way to do it on that side. I'm not sure. But the raid spell is very well placed. And as a result, all these dragons survive. And we'll go on and clean up everything for the three side. Okay, there you go. So yeah, in this case, he brought a few archers along and he cleaned up the stray buildings. There are different ways to do dragon attacks. It's not like there's just one correct way to do it. You need to you need to look at your opponent's base and see. Like, okay, well, does this guy have air defenses that can be taken out easily? Yes or no. If there is an air defense that's close to the edge, then you might be able to take it out with a whole bunch of hogs. In, the, in Jason's attack that you just saw, there were no air defenses that were close to the edge. So he just did his best by clearing up the outside buildings and then sending in his main force. But directing them pretty close to the middle. 
Okay, now let's take a look at another attack. Okay, so we're going to take a look at these guys. Oh, oh man, okay, so this war we actually had a, a couple of very good attacks by Steely, yeah. So I'm definitely going to show you guys those attacks at the very end, but before that we're going to take a look at another dragon attack or two. I'm not sure if that was a dragon attack. Okay, I think this one here was a dragon attack. Alright, so this base has three air defenses. They're not exactly very close to the edge, but it's the same principle. Send in hogs, heal spell, and that's going to take out a few of these defensive towers, while also luring out their clan castle. So it serves two purposes when you do that. On a base like this, that is. Some bases will take out a few towers and you still won't trigger the clan castle. But. This has been very common recently. A couple of wizards, maybe three, two to four wizards, and then the rest are all archers. The good thing about this is it takes so long to lure out the units from the clan castle. So yeah, a few archers and a dragon. The dragon takes out all the archers that are clumped up, so that was very efficient. I was going to send in a few dragons somewhere around here. Not clumping them too much. Here, the doorbell is going to like crazy. Right now, there's going to be a rage spell right around here, hitting a decent amount of the, of the dragons. They go and they take out that uh, air defense. These are all level 3 dragons that you have been seeing so far. Level 2 dragons, kind of weak, but by the time we're at Town Hall 8, you should be able to have level 3 dragons. So. And yeah, this attack, all the dragons spread out really evenly. It's very good when they do that. Because they don't go running to one building. Like, if you have a cluster of three dragons running to one building to take it out, that's th the travel time of three dragons, and all three of them are going to attack that building at the same time, which means there's probably going to be a lot of overkill. The dragons take out most of the base, and, you know, fortunately there were plenty left right here. But even if these dragons... Uh, even if these dragons were not left there, the heroes alone would have pretty much been enough to take out the remaining uh, buildings. And they still had health, so that was sort of the plan, is that if the last air defense is still up there, then these uh, heroes would have taken them out. So there you have three dragon attacks. Well-planned dragon attacks. Now we're going to go take a look at some Goeli attacks at the very top. Very, very well executed. Okay, so the guy who attacked was Stevie Span. He's rank 6, so he went up 4 ranks to attack their number 2 right here. We're going to take, we're going to watch this attack. It's a very nice one. Alright, a couple golems at the bottom. Wizards right away. It's very good. As soon as you put down your golems, you want to start clearing those stray buildings, because when you send in your main group of wizards to take out their uh, town hall and their core, they're going to get distracted with these buildings, right? They're going to take too long, so. Alright, and a whole bunch of witches here. Uh, clan castle also, and both of the heroes. So this attack looks very lopsided. All the units are going towards the left. But it works out pretty good in this attack right here. I try to spread my units to the right and left when I do this, because I like them to do one clean sweep through the whole base. But, I don't know. Maybe maybe this is a good way to do it, too. I'm not sure if it was intentional, but... Uh, Pekka's leading the charge over here, taking out all these buildings that are far apart. It's kind of good that the Pekka's didn't go to the middle too quickly, because... These, uh, yeah, these Teslas, man, they're, they're pretty strong against Pekka's. They do double the damage. I think the main, the MVP unit for this attack was the witches. They just spawned so many skeletons. Level 2 witches. Their damage is horrible, but their main purpose is distraction. So, over here you see the witches distracting while the, 
Firewall. And the King, I guess, taking fire while the Queen attacks. The Queen, I'm not sure, but I think the Queen might actually have the highest damage in the game uh, when it's maxed out. I think her damage is way higher than any other unit. I'm not sure. I'd have to look at them. I know that a max P.E.K.K.A. is stronger than a King right now, in the current game balance. But I think in, I think a Queen's attack is stronger than a King, I'm not sure. Alright, so all these units are now doing cleanup, they're going around the side, and it kind of comes down to the wire here, but... has just enough hit points left on that uh, P.E.K.K.A to tank long enough for the Queen and the Witch, and a wonderful 3-star under rank 2. Now we're going to watch one last attack by the same person, Stevie. It's another 3-star with Go... Go Lee Lee, or Go Wipe. It's actually neither, because he's using... He's using Pekka's, and he's also using uh, Witches. But yeah, it's just a golem mix, more or less. Okay, wait a minute. Is this the same attack that I've just launched? No, it isn't. Okay, it's a slightly... <laughs> it's the same base, but a different attack. So, it's a bit confusing, but it is a separate attack. The same thing in the beginning. A couple golems go down, a couple wizards to clean up the buildings, and then the P.E.K.K.A.s go down. Several more wizards... Uh, the Golems are losing quite a bit of health, they're already down to half, but that's what their job is, tank damage. Okay, that Pekka's kind of doing a bring around the Rosie over there. And here come all the Witches, with loads of Skeletons. Skeletons are so nice because they trigger traps before your Wizards get to them. In this case here, the Wizards got damaged quite a bit. I probably would have uh, liked to put the witches down a little bit earlier, but... Anyway, the horde of skeletons are working their way through the walls, rage, heal, jump also, and all the units are now in the core. It's a very well placed the rage right in the center of the core, which affect all these units all at once. And I think the town hall is going to go down now pretty quickly. As Tesla's are doing a lot of damage. Pekka's, even even with double damage, it's not like they take out Pekka's that quickly. Pekka's are pretty pretty good units. Very strong. A lot of hit points, a lot of attack. If Pekka's targeted defenses first, there would be no point in going to Golems, I imagine. The nice thing about Golems is that you don't have to worry about them running around the edge of the map like this P.E.K.K.A. did right here. This P.E.K.K.A. went and destroyed a whole bunch of these buildings. But Golems don't do that, so that's the good thing about them. Well, how did that Golem get all the way up there? I'm not sure. Maybe he walked through the middle, or he was placed down on that horse. That wasn't paying enough attention, but in either case, all these witches here. Yeah, he's got quite a few witches, and they all survived. I think that's eight witches alive right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So not a single witch died until that wizard tower just shot them. With fewer of your enemy's towers alive, uh, wizard, uh, not wizards, sorry, witches, well any unit really, but especially witches, become exponentially stronger because of their skeletons. If there are no splash damage units, like if all the mortars and wizard towers are taken out, then witches become almost the strongest unit in the game. So yeah, there you have it, another three star. Um, feeling a bit down because we've been losing so many wars, but I hope those attacks will help you guys with your wars. If you have any advice or questions or anything, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, as usual, and I will see you next time. Peace out.